Hey, Kurt, aren't you just doing this campaign to prop up your income because of the pandemic? The answer is a resounding no. First off, this is a nonprofit. It's a legitimate nonprofit. And if you look up in the, the campaign or down wherever I have it, you'll see that I've actually filed and been accepted by the state of Texas for nonprofit, nonprofit status. Um, there's an application to the IRS for the 501c3 tax exempt status. I've received an EIN. This is not me. This is the nonprofit. It's a separate entity. Ask yourself how much it might cost to start a nonprofit. What would the fees be? How much do lawyers cost? How much does it cost to hire a registered agent? What are the filing fees? What is the big hit in the wallet filing fee to file your 1023 with the IRS? Is it $100? <laughs> I'm here to tell you that I've spent close to $2,000 just to get the nonprofit going. Now, something I haven't included, but I will because this is the skeptics corner. I'll include a snapshot of the Bank of America business account for the nonprofit. Any funds received here for this campaign are going to go directly into that nonprofit business banking account. That account can be audited by the state of Texas and the IRS. If I were to take that money to go to Disneyland, you could rest assured I would get in big, big trouble. So, no, this is not some kind of weird ploy to prop up my income because of the pandemic. I will tell you this. If I want to be so smart to try to fool people, I have a recording I've been working on for Bud Brisboy's Jesus Christ Superstar. And I have a video that's going to be going along with it. It's taken a lot of work and it's actually taken a lot of money. I have a guy that's just finishing up the mastering. And then I'm going to be hiring a videographer and a choreographer um, to stage the video. Um, it, if I really want to make money, I would have come on Indiegogo and said, Hey guys, um, can you support my recording of Bud Briz Boy's Jesus Christ Superstar? And also the video. I need about $5,000. That would really help. So if I wanted to prop up my income, I would have done something like that. I did not. This is a nonprofit. It's outside myself. It's a separate entity. Once you contribute, the money goes into a business bank account for the nonprofit. And then that money will go to expenditures that won't be for me. But you'll see it goes to higher arrangers, people that will be arranging the music. It will go to pay building use for rehearsals. It will go to travel expenses for people to come to their final audition. It will go to a website designer to spruce up the website. So the money that's coming in, probably 98% will go to somebody else or some organization to help us get going on this Trumpet Champions ensemble that we're building. I hope this makes sense. I'm going to include again a snapshot of the business bank account. Um, folks, you can just research this. People can get in big, big trouble by taking funds from a nonprofit and fooling around with it. So you can rest assured, uh, just take a deep breath and relax and be at ease knowing that your contributions are going to help out this endeavor to save trumpet music and to educate the public about trumpet music from the 20th century.